All right, how is everyone doing today? Welcome back to another video. And today, what I have for everyone is my unboxing and first impressions of the, and I know I'm going to butcher this, the Bo Huma MagSafe wireless charger for your iOS series of devices. So this is a MagSafe wireless charger for your iOS 12 or iPhone 12 series of devices and newer. But y'all know this is a continuation of the series. This should also work on your iPhone 11 series if you have the right case. All right. So let's unbox this MagSafe wireless charger and let's see how it performs. Okay. As always, I'll have the links to everything featured in today's video available down below in the video description. The video description will contain affiliated buy links. If you make your purchase using those affiliated buy links, I do get a small percentage of kickback that I do put back into the channel. But that's at no additional cost to you guys and gals. And I'll also link up all of my extended coverage on accessories for the iPhone 11 as well as the iPhone 11 itself. So as always, down below in the video description will be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals. And you should be good to go. Alright, without further ado, let's dive into today's video. Let's go. So starting off here, let's talk about the packaging and presentation. I have to say, this does look really, really good. It's very clean, very straightforward, really good stuff here. All right, so you can see we got the MagSafe wireless charger in picture form right here. And then we got the capabilities of it. So it's a wireless charger with magnets built in. All right, and then flipping to this side. You just got some barcode information with a nice barcode scanner there. Nothing on this side. A little FCC and model information down here. So that's the model number for it right there. Okay. Flipping it to the bottom. You can see we got a picture with the uh, MagSafe charger right here. This is using the iPhone 15. But again, if you have the compatible case... This should work regardless. So in particular, the model for this one is the C10. All right, let's crack this open. All right. So we got our booklets and everything right here. Let's rest this off to the side. Compatible devices right here. Okay, put that down. And then we have the wireless charger right here with a little insert. Let's take that out. And here it is. So here's the wireless charger. Rest that down. And it does come with its own charging brick. That is really nice. So we do got a nice USB-C charging brick right here. With... It's charging information right along the side right here. Let me get that to focus. It's upside down. My bad. Get that to focus right there. Now, as always, if this is unclear, I'll go ahead and throw up a picture in post. Yeah, we're having some focusing issues right here. So I'll throw up a picture of this in post. So y'all know all the charging information for it. But really, really nice that Bow Huma provides everything that you need to start using this MagSafe wireless charger out of the box. So nothing else in the box right here. Let's throw it off to the side. And here it is. So if I'm being 100% honest with y'all, I thought this would just be the puck with a USB Type-C charging port on it, but that is far from the case as you can see. So you have the puck with a nice, long USB Type-C charging cable. All right. And then this puck right here should be MagSafe compatible. So if I take my iPhone 11 here. Yeah, 
it just clicks into place. So you can see it's MagSafe in, and now it's right on there. So all I have to do at this point is plug in the USB-C charging cable, and then I would have wireless charging for my iPhone 11 here, okay? And that will work with this case I have right here, but that will also work, or it should also work with my other MagSafe cases. So if we pull this off, okay? So we know it works with this one, my nice black one here, but if I pull it off my iPhone 11 here, so let's pull this off, okay? And rest that down. Let me grab my other case, which also has MagSafe built in. It should also work with this case as well. So if I drop this on, okay? Okay, goes in, no muss, no fuss. And then we slap it on here. Yes, it also works with this case as well. So now I have MagSafe wireless charging capabilities with whatever case I decide to use. Okay, so that pretty much does it for today's video. I'm going to put in some B-roll of how I have this MagSafe wireless charger set up. And now I'm going to use this MagSafe wireless charger for the next two weeks and come back with a full review, letting y'all know how I feel this performs. All right. Also, I'm going to throw up how much I paid for this MagSafe wireless charger because you guys and gals know I'm all about keeping it straight 100 around here. Okay. And that being said, guys and gals, that does it for today's video. So this has been my unboxing and first impressions of the Bow Humor MagSafe wireless charger for your iOS devices. And again, this should be compatible with your iPhone 12 or newer devices or any older um, iPhone with MagSafe case capabilities on it. All right. So as always, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. I hope you guys and gals found this video helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Okay. Do that. It always helps the channel out. As always, if you would like to see more content like this, also feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. And again, if this video piqued your interest and you would like to know where you can pick up this MagSafe wireless charger for yourself, all the affiliated buy links as to where you guys and gals can pick up this charger will be available down below in the video description. And if you use those affiliated links, I do get a small percentage of kickback that I do put it back into the channel at no additional cost to you guys and gals. So that makes the affiliated buy links as well as all of the linked up videos down below, all of the extended coverage linked up down below will make the video description a one-stop shop for you guys and gals and you should be good to go, all right? So today's video was recorded using the rear-facing primary camera on the S10e in 1080p at 30 FPS with no external microphone hooked up. So please let me know what you think of the overall video quality as well as what you think of the overall audio quality down below. And again, I did use my professional studio lights here today. So also please let me know what you think of the overall lighting. As always, your feedback is greatly appreciated. Just remember to keep it respectful, please. All right. I hope everyone is having a great day. I hope you guys and gals are staying safe out there. And I will catch everyone in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. We are out of here. Peace. All right. Man, I can't wait to set this up. Finally, my iPhone is set up to the point where I don't have to struggle with any cables whatsoever. Oh, I've been dreaming about this day for a long time. So finally, I'll be able to wirelessly transfer all of my things that I do with my iPhone. And when it's time to charge it, I'll be able to wirelessly charge it. So at this point, 
I no longer need to plug in any cables whatsoever. But, all right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's test this bad boy out first. Let's see how it performs. I'll come back in the full review and let you guys and gals know if this is worth it. But I am really looking forward to this. As a disabled individual, having a device where I at no point will need to struggle with the cables at any point is something that I've really been looking forward to for a long time. But first, before we can, you know, tell you how good it is, we do have to put it through the review process. All right, I'm rambling. Let me get up out of here. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Again, I hope you guys and gals found it helpful. Have a good one. I'll catch you guys and gals in the next one. Stay safe, everyone. We're out of here. Once again, peace.